morning, and welcome to the video. Kevin hates me. Can you please open this for me? I got these nails. Why are you filming this? Because it's from my YouTubes. Open it. I don't want to be on your YouTubes. Well, if you would have just hurried up, your face wouldn't have been in it. My hand was there. And you're taking all this time. I knew you were going to sip it. Give it back. Thank you. <laughs> shit um just woke up got in a car accident the other week just like a fender bender but um had to get my car worked on so woke up went and got the rental car been packing orders ever since for waylon um we just had a women's launch this last saturday it went really well we released three new pieces um in all new colors super exciting thing so Still getting a lot of orders in, getting those packed, and then I'm going to take you guys throughout my day. Um, this is episode two of my series, Still Not Done. So if you guys haven't watched the first one, I highly recommend go ahead and going back to my last video, uh, the first episode. It gives you an idea of what the series is going to be about and why we're doing it. Um, so pause this right here. Go watch that if you haven't watched it yet. And then once you're ready, here we go. So, um, I'm going to start talking about kind of where I'm at right now with the whole body image and relationship with food thing um, and kind of how I'm progressing and what I'm doing to help improve these situations for myself. So, I had frost flakes for breakfast this morning and some days are healthier and some days are not. Okay, so yesterday we had a nice healthy meal. Today, not so much. And it's a little bit of balance. Um, I'm actually at a really good place right now. Um, right after I filmed episode one, I kind of went backwards a little bit. And it's not that I didn't want to document that with you guys and share that with you. But I literally started trying to film the video like eight times. Um, I have so many different clips of me like starting to starting the video and I could just never really finish it because I would just have a bad day and I was just like I can't mentally force myself to get on camera and talk whenever I'm like not emotionally available to do that so I do want to document my journey and I am letting you know that I did go back a little bit and got back to those thoughts where I'm just obsessing over food and obsessing over what I look like um but we're doing better now and some of the things that I do um, I'm just gonna walk you throughout the day so this morning woke up didn't look in the mirror and overanalyze my body didn't step on the scale didn't lift up my shirt to do an ab check to see if we had them none of that I woke up I started doing shit that I needed to get done. I'm focusing on other areas of my life. Um, if you guys follow me, you know that I recently started a podcast and my co-host, uh, Lauren, has a quote. She got it from someone else, but she's like been saying it and I love it. So I just want to throw it here. It is how you look should be the least interesting thing about you. And just having that in the back of my mind all the time has been super helpful. So I'm focusing on how I feel instead of how I look which in turn 
is making me look better because I'm stressing less. I'm just picking things that are going to make me feel good to eat. So if I'm picking things that are going to make me feel healthy and give me energy instead of thinking about what I can't have and in turn forcing me to have bad things because I feel like I'm over restricted and my mind's just going crazy. It's just doing a lot of great things. So tip number one, don't wake up and overanalyze your body. Okay. Step away from the scale, step away from the mirror. Just wake up and do what you gotta do. I know some of us have to get ready, unlike myself, uh, for work in the morning sometimes. So, yes, I know sometimes it's easier said than done. But, work on it. I recommend it. I'm gonna finish doing some of this stuff to get some of these orders to the post office. But I'm gonna bring you guys along my day. And we're gonna keep bringing up more tips and telling you how it's going. And help you guys get to a better place with your relationship with food and your body and all that. And just... Disclaimer, once again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, this is just my journey and my experience with everything, and these are things that are helping me, hopefully they help you, okay? One eternity later. I don't want to be in the shade. Is it my parking spot? Um, this is why we can't have nice things, this is why we can't have a YouTube channel, because... I always start filming the videos and then I like forget. So I forget what day I even started filming on last week, but it's a new day. Um, I think Thursday. It's now Monday. It was 4th of July weekend. That's why I'm a motherfucking lobster. Um, just coached. It's Monday morning. It's 10 AM. I just coached an F45 class and now I'm getting ready for my workout in between the next class that I coach. So, I just have like some on-the-go breakfast. I'm gonna have two lightly salted rice cakes with Jif Whips. And then, we're gonna mix up some pre-workout. So, that's what we're doing. Um, I'm not gonna bring my camera into the gym because it's, uh, like still a new gym and I'm still like getting used to it and even like selfieing I feel weird so I just don't feel comfortable yet um filming in there but one day I hope you can even see this it's like super shadowy there we are now I'm in the light um gotta do a full scoop because this girl's always sleepy um yeah and woke up, didn't look at my stomach in the mirror after the long weekend of drinking and eating, didn't weigh myself, don't give a fuck, didn't use the word diet. This girl's watching me. Um, didn't say diet starts tomorrow or oh my god, back to healthy eating and like didn't starve myself this morning. I did decide to fast until now um, and not eat anything before the first workout but honestly like I just still felt like kind of full and I wanted my stomach to have a little bit more time to digest we had a lot of Italian food last night which was amazing I actually have opened rice cakes already um so yeah just started the day totally normal um not doing anything different gonna eat how I normally would um I did quit my waitressing job so, um, I need to focus on getting more steps in. So I'm going to do my workout now, and then I coach another class, and then um, I'm getting my hair done today, and then I'll probably do some work for Waylon on the computer at night, and then in the evening, I'm going to go on a walk. So that's just one thing, like, being, like, obviously my end goal is, like, to be, like, a full-time entrepreneur, and so I'm going to have, like, I'm not going to be waitressing in one day. I'm not going to be coaching all the time. So I'm not going to be on my feet as much doing those things. So it's super important for me to start establishing these habits for when I like don't have as active of a, of a like lifestyle due to work, like creating these little habits that I'll be doing on my own. So trying to get into walks, whether it's morning or evening, depending on my schedule. So we're going to do one at night today. What is still as fuck? We are so old. Anyway. That's it. Just check it in. Here we go. I'll catch you later.
focus on my hair. I have castor oil in it and some other oils on the end because we're washing it today. But I'm about to make up some lunch right now. We meal prepped some chicken last night, so the chicken's already ready to go, and we're going to make salads. Um, so... I just cut up a bunch of green pepper, um, carrots, and I'm just going to save the carrots and the green peppers in little baggies. That way I have them ready to go for tomorrow and the rest of the week if I want a salad. And then we just do a bunch of romaine in a salad spinner. I got this at Ikea for like $3. This way everything's ready to go for you to make it throughout the week. You don't have to be lazy. Um, we got into a habit where we weren't meal prepping at all, so I would have like chicken nuggets in a salad, which is fine from time to time, but I was doing it all the time um so and they would be like the pre-made salads which are delicious but i get the ones with like the craisins and the sugary dressing so it was time to mix it up have a little bit of health i like doing um and like i don't punish myself with salad i like them and i like doing them for lunch because usually it's hot in the middle of the day especially in the summer in california so it's something not super hot to make and now that we prepped the chicken at the in or now that we prepped the chicken the night before, I don't have to worry about firing up the oven during the day to make the apartment even hotter than it already is. So everything's ready to go. I like to have a smaller, lighter lunch. That way that I can have a larger dinner because Kevin and I like to eat. And I don't know, like as long as you're not making it like you're like forcing yourself to eat these things and you're punishing yourself with the salad, then you're good to go. For dinner, um, we're also supposed to go out to dinner with a girlfriend from where I used to work. And long story short, they came over here instead. We went out, we got Mexican takeout, brought it back, had drinks, played games. And it was kind of like, like a mental battle for me because I knew that after the long weekend of drinking, I didn't really want to drink, but I don't get to hang out with her that often, so it was one of those things where I was like, guys, I'm gonna have fun and enjoy it, make the memories, and whatever else. So it was a mental battle, and that's how it's gonna be sometimes whenever you're trying to overcome this position that you've always been. And honestly, it's not even about like overcoming the whole like mental health thing and you know, the body image thing and being obsessed with food and stuff, but it's just hard sometimes when you know you have goals. My goal was to eat healthier this week. My goal was, you know, not to obsess about it or to track or count or weigh my food or look in the mirror every day, weigh myself every morning. That's just not my current goal anymore. But my goal was to have a healthy week and just feel good about the foods that I'm putting in my body, about the fact that I was drinking water, not alcohol, and it didn't happen. And it was hard, but that's okay. It's going to happen. Um... I definitely know that I've made like huge mental shifts just knowing that like I did that and now I can wake up this morning and like not be crazy about it. For like a second I caught myself and I was like, ugh, you're getting fat, you're putting weight on. And I was like, you know what? No. Looked in the mirror, I flexed, flexed, I could still see abs, okay? So maybe I have a little more body fat on me than I have in the past, but Nothing crazy, it's nothing I can't reel back in, it's nothing I can't get in check, okay? Um, one thing that I want to make clear is that I'm not saying that by working on this, you should give up eating healthy, or you should give up working out as much or as hard or whatever it is. I'm just saying it's important to look at your mindset around it. Um, I'm going to hopefully keep like being i'm hoping to be able to keep bringing more tips and more ideas for you guys so you know try not to weigh yourself as much try not to look in the mirror as much 
unfollow people on Instagram that you have to unfollow that you're going crazy because every time you look at their page you're like oh my god why don't I look like them that is not good for your mental health go on walks listen to audiobooks read books do different things it is so important for your mental health get it in check people if you need to delete my fitness pal see stop being crazy then that's what you gotta do okay take an inventory of your life Figure out the areas that you need to improve in and then make a game plan to make it happen. And you're not always going to have all the answers, but you're going to figure it out as you go. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.